Welcome to Roland Academy's Support Tutorials video series. Today's video will be on installing the Cut Studio plugin into CorelDRAW X6. If you have the CD that came in the box with your GX or SV cutter, you can use the CorelDRAW plugin from there. Otherwise, go to our website at rolanddga.com, navigate to Support, and open the Technical Support Wizard. From there you can open the Cut Studio link which will show all of our support resources for Cut Studio software. Under Software Updates, download Cut Studio plugins for Windows to your desktop. It's a zip file so it will need to be extracted. Inside you'll find Cut Studio plugins for Windows folder and a plugin setup executable. This will normally install the plugin automatically. However, if you need to manually install it, open the window, highlight the bitmap and the GMS folder, and copy. Now you'll have to navigate through your computer's hard drive. So from the Start menu, go to Computer, which is also known as My Computer and XP and earlier versions of Windows. Navigate to your C drive, where Corel is located. And under Program Files, which is known as x86 on 64-bit systems, you'll find Corel. Inside Corel will be all of your Corel Draw Suite packages. Open up X6, open up the Draw folder, inside Draw you'll go to the GMS folder, inside the GMS folder you'll paste the two files that you just copied. Once this is complete, open up Corel Draw. Once CorelDRAW is open, you'll want to start a new document. And up at the top under the menus, you'll want to go to Tools, and under Tools, go to Customization. Under Customization, you'll choose Commands. And from the drop-down under Commands, you'll choose Macros. When you open up your Macros listing, you'll see Execute Cut Studio. This is the Cut Studio plugin. However, since it has a generic logo, we'll want to apply the Cut Studio logo to it. So under Appearance, choose Import. And under Files, we'll navigate back to the original folder where we first copied those two. And in Corel, you'll find the original Cut Studio bitmap. This will apply the Cut Studio bitmap to the plugin. From here, the Cut Studio plugin can be dragged anywhere on your artboard. If you want to put it in your main toolbar, that's acceptable. You can put it along the top or any place else that you feel comfortable designing. Now it's time to test. The Cut Studio plugin will take any data on the screen and transfer it into Cut Studio so that it can be sent to your cutter. Simply type any text or any graphics uh, drawn on the screen, and when you're ready, Click on the Cut Studio plugin. This will open Cut Studio and your design will now be ready to cut. It's important to remember with Cut Studio that you keep it inside of the artboard. Anything outside will not be cut. And you're ready to go.